I am Flory Bear. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, when did you come to Seattle? I, I came in Seattle in 2014, in December. It was during winter time, so that was my first winter. And in, how did you get assigned to Seattle, or why, why did you come to Seattle? Was that a choice? That was not my choice, by the way, but uh, what I can say that it was uh, a breakthrough, like a breakthrough for me, coming from a war-torn country in Democratic Republic of Congo. I was forced to leave my country since 2002, and I ended up in the refugee camp in Malawi. That's how, from the refugee camp to here, there was a long process. Was it just you or were you with family? I came with my family, my wife. We had two children when we came and my wife was seven months pregnant. We had our son here. Uh, always I do say that that pregnancy share both countries. How did you and your family end up in a refugee camp? I ended up in the refugee camp. It was a forced displacement, a very hard story to tell. And war have displaced millions of Congolese since 1996. We just, first of all, choose to survive, to stay alive. It was a choice of staying alive first before understanding any other thing. So that's how I moved, I le we left the country. But at that time I was not yet married. I was still single. I left with my brother. I left myself and then I joined my brother and then my brother and a wife, we ended up in Malawi. And then the other family members started joining us. And I got married in a refugee camp, and I built my family from the camp, you see? What was your first day in a refugee camp like? My first day in refugee camp, it's very hard to describe it, because it appeared to be like that specific day, I was not in myself. I don't know if you understand being in yourself, it means I was lost from inside. I did not know who I was really because it was like I'm lost. It was like uh, in a dream. It was like in a, in a movie, something like that. And that was my first day. It was like some, I was still thinking like I'm dreaming what I'm, I was seeing because I could not just imagine myself being in the midst of that forest and very far from cities and villages and only refugees. And my first day I've been told to build my house. The first day in the camp, I arrived. They told me, this is your plot. If you need any tools, go and see that office over there. And whenever you are ready to start building your house, this is your spot. Look at yourself. Just imagine what was my feelings, because that was my first day. What was your first day like in Seattle? My first day in Seattle is different from my first day in a refugee camp. When I landed in Seattle, I've been welcome at the airport. What was not when I landed in the refugee camp? There was nobody for me. But when I came here, somebody was there for me. The agency, the I, I, International Rescue Committee. And I felt I'm in good hands. And I was put in a house, in an apartment, but I had nothing to ask about it. It was at least in a shelter, in a beautiful one. It was so different, and it was so welcoming. So you've been in Seattle for a few years. What do you think? 
in Seattle. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Of course, yes. As somebody coming from a refugee camp, just imagine yourself being thrown in one of the village in Africa without anything with you. So just you and without any language experience. How can you feel? And but once you, you at least you have to survive. <laughs> you have to survive. And once you survived, that's what we did. We survived whatever we went through. And we was always seeking to leave, to get out of the camp. So coming here, it was a breakthrough. 